This is Dolany TV. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm warmed up for this one. That's what a seven minute accidental live stream on Dolany TV will do for a guy. After, guys, I gotta explain that. If you watch that live stream, I had no clue I was live for about seven and a half minutes. And then I realized and then got all awkward and vanished off the stream. Um, problem is, been having technical difficulties on the computer today, and that's the problem when you come home and the Wi Fi is not working. However, what we need to get to, I can't waste your time too much longer. I do need to tell you right now, I'm going to repeat myself from the stream, is the simple fact that this is Hockey Eve, and what I need to tell you is you need to get in here and, of course, subscribe. Stay tuned to Dolan TV all throughout the Oilers season if you're an Oilers fan, because as you probably saw with that live stream, you're going to find out with uh, me that there's some quirky things that I'll say along the road when I'm doing an Oilers video, or I'll do quirky things like accidentally live stream my Tuesday afternoon video about the Oilers roster being named. So if you had it ruined, it is what it is. I'm I'm a hundred percent sure I'm not going to be able to repeat myself word for word or even close to the ideas I had in that first video because now I'm all brain somewhere else. But let's get to it, ladies and gentlemen. The Oilers today at 3 p.m. The deadline came and went and fancy dancy. We've submitted our roster. And without further ado, here is your 2019-2020 Edmonton Oilers opening day roster. And that sounds like something in the MLB they'd say is opening day, but works across professional sports. See, I'm remembering what I said. We're rocking, we're rolling, we're gonna have a good video, not a live stream. Video, video. I should have known when I didn't have that little pause button next to my record button, but just is what it is on a Tuesday afternoon. Especially, the snow's already fallen, it's winter time, it's hockey season, let's go. So, your goaltenders, ladies and gentlemen, for this Edmonton Oilers season, Miko Koskinen and Mike Smith. The coach, Dave Tippett, puts it, lays it out there easy. These guys are 40-40 split, 1A, 1B. Problem is, that doesn't work in the NHL. You might have one guy play 50 games, one guy play 30 games, one guy play 45 games, one guy play 35. The reason it works that way and the reason it happens that way is because competition in net. And the big factor is the competition in the net is something we didn't see last year. The Oilers coming out of the gate, we're rolling with Talbot because, my goodness, he's our man. Oh, pff, one shot, one goal, Talbot. No, he's not that bad. Well, ladies and gentlemen, guess what? We found out by the trade deadline that, yes, Cam Talbot was that bad at letting in the first shot and yes that very much so hurts an Oilers team so now you've got two goaltenders who are going to push each other who were told they're going to push each other all season long and we're going to find out what we get out of it are these the two best goalies we could possibly have absolutely not but for the price tag of 6.5 million you know what it's not as bad of a tandem as we could possibly have either so there's a couple of simple factors there that, uh, you know what, maybe it's not as bad as it could be, and it's not as good as it could be. But you know what, in Oilers land, settling somewhere in the middle is A-OK -okay with me to begin a hockey season. It's a lot better than last year, let's just say that. Defensively, Ethan Bear comes to camp, works his tail off, does absolutely everything he can to earn a roster spot and ladies and gentlemen he gets some help from a guy down lower on the list going on the injured reserve list and suddenly right there he is on the opening night roster with Oscar Clefbaum most likely to start as his D partner in the 2019-2020 NHL season so good on him absolutely you know what that's what hard work does and that's when it gets rewarded is by a good coach, a good general manager, who's evaluated a talent we've had in the season for a lot of years, or in the system for a lot of years, and comes up and gives them a shot to go out and prove that the preseason ain't no fluke for them. And I don't think, ladies and gentlemen, based on what we saw at the tail end of 17-18 with Ethan Bear, that the preseason was at all close to a fluke. Then you've got Matt Benning, Oscar Clefbaum, Adam Larson, and Brandon Manning. Okay, there we go. Stop, pause, hold up. What the heck? Brandon Manning was on waivers yesterday. We just Ryan Spooner 2.0'd Brandon Manning 
If you remember back to last year, we put Ryan Spooner on waivers just hoping to rid ourselves of the Shirelli era panic idiocy. He went unclaimed. Straight up. Went unclaimed. And he stayed on the Oilers the next night. In fact, I think he suited up the same day. It was something just absolutely balloonish, cartoonish, outlandish stupidity in hockey business terms. In terms of how you can manage a team by your general manager. It was ridiculous. And here we are doing it to Brandon Manning. But this one not as bad because, well, we kind of need a seventh defenseman. So as hard as I am on Brandon Manning... Not because of the Connor McDavid thing, but just because of the Shirelli era idiocy and panic. You know where I'm going with that. Just, I don't like him. I don't like the factors. I don't like the situation. But he's here. He's going to be on the bench or in the press box, and it's okay. We'll just, we'll just move on, and we'll deal with it when Pearson gets back. Darnell Nurse and Chris Russell. Russell, another name that we thought might not be here. Come opening day, not training camp, opening day, well, he's here. We'll deal with it as as it is too. Josh Archibald, Colby Cave, begin your list of 14 forwards up front. Josh Archibald, yeah, we knew he was here. Colby Cave, questionable, but he made it due to Riley Sheehan down below being on the injured reserve list. Then you've got Alex Chieson, Leon Dreisettle, Marcus Granlin, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who wanted him gone, he is here and he's going to kill penalties like hopefully no tomorrow for us. Gaetan Oss, this is the questionable one that we all kind of, he's up in the air, probably not going to make it, but then Sheehan gets injured and that allows Colby Cave, Gaetan Oss to both have roles and they're here. So it is what it is. Thomas Shirko, Zach Kazian, Jujar Kara, Connor McDavid, James Neal, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Joachim Nygaard, and Patrick Russell. Guys, that's your group of 14 NHL forwards alongside the 15th guy on the injured reserve, Riley Sheehan, who is out right now. Well, what can I tell you about this roster? How on earth can I defend this roster? That is the question. Nobody on Twitter can seem to do it. Nobody in the comments section can seem to do it. But what I can tell you, this roster exemplifies the value Dave Tippett and Ken Holland have put on heart and hustle. And that's the key to this lineup. If you followed me last year, as we finished off March and April, my preach, my everything about finishing the year strong was about heart and hustle. The Oilers needed to show their heart. The Oilers needed to go out and hustle. They needed to do everything right according to how you play hockey every shift. And that begins with heart and hustle. If your heart's not in it and you're not willing to move your feet and make a play, you're not going to win a hockey game. And while, ladies and gentlemen, the reason this 15 group man or man group is assembled is because these 15 guys got through Ken Holland and Dave Tippett's Edmonton Oilers training camp by moving their feet and showing a little bit of heart on the route, 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 uh, on the way to opening night against the Vancouver Canucks tomorrow night, 8 p.m. on Sportsnet. Or hopefully you're watching the game at Rogers Place. That's the hope anyway. But you understand where I'm going with this, right? Is the simple fact they didn't all have outstanding training camps. But at some point, they went out there and impressed Dave Tippett with their heart, attitude, hustle, quickness, whatever you want to call it. They went out there and earned a spot. And that is why they are here to play on opening day against the Vancouver Canucks tomorrow night. On the injured reserve list, you have Riley Sheehan. On the injured non-reserve list, you have Kyle Brodziak and Joel Pearson alongside Logan Day, who's actually back in Bakersfield from everything I've heard, doing some rehab as well. There you go. So, the alternate captains, the new ones named this year, Darnell Nurse, and Leon Dry settled. Ladies and gentlemen, Dry got the A, and that is absolutely fantastic for us. Nuge and Larson are the other two. Connor McDavid returns for his fourth season as Edmonton Oilers captain. That, ladies and gentlemen, is your 
2020 Edmonton Oilers opening day roster. Guys, hockey eve. Enjoy your last night because we're about to hit the ground running tomorrow. And an 8 p.m. start at Rogers Place. The madness ensues. Guys, I'm Tyson. This is Stolen ATV. I will catch you as always in the next one.